Tane, Kakita no Yafuto, a popo, Tudo Paria, Tudo Hawaii. No my, Haire my, Tongata Katua, Kyoda my. Huinu, Nine, Tikarare, Oti Mutu, Oti Ao. Aotearoa Radio Television Nipurangi, Tikore, Ati Zero. And now the news in English for 4th June 2014. National Headlines No official response from New Zealand police three months after a man in their custody died has given rise to the perception that Mr Sentry Taitoko was unlawfully killed and that the New Zealand government security forces are concealing the information of the offence and protecting those police staff involved in the killing. The disgraced former New Zealand Police Commissioner, Mr Peter Marshall, has received a state honour from the regime in Wellington, despite his outspoken public defence, for the members of a West Auckland rape gang known as the Roastbusters, one of whom is the son of a serving policeman. Wealthy Chinese property developer and donor to the National Party, Mr Donghua Liu, whose citizenship was facilitated by the former minister, Morris Williamson, who resigned after it was shown he had interfered in a case of domestic abuse on his behalf, has been exposed in Chinese court documents as having bribed regional Communist Party officials for their approval of his projects in China. The creation of a combined internet party mana movement list to contest the New Zealand parliamentary elections has been consolidated with a commitment from online tycoon and internet party founder Mr Kim dot com to spend four million New Zealand dollars on the campaign, which if successful is said to challenge the place of the New Zealand entity within the Western Security Alliance. Taranaki Iwi, Ngarui Hinerangi and Tiatiawa have indicated they will both go ahead and initial an agreement today with the New Zealand government to settle Treaty of Waitangi disputes despite concerns from other iwi in the group that no provisions have been made for the historic pa at Parihaka. Now international headlines. On the 25th anniversary of the brutal repression of the Tiananmen Square pro-democracy protests in 1989, the Chinese authorities have disrupted Google and other internet services and arrested and threatened prominent activists in order to suppress the remembrance activities. As eastern Ukraine slips further into civil war following the western-backed coup, a confrontation with Russia has intensified, with the American President, Mr Barack Obama, promising eastern European NATO nations bordering Russia an additional support of one billion United States dollars. And now the news in detail. Now that was a, that was a shocking read through, a shocking read through. Um, but then again, my notes are just so, so so shocking. I, I'm and that, that was my first read through. I just couldn't get through any anything more because it was just, just such a mess. But that's a neutral sort of a stance, um, a non-state broadcaster, but a public broadcaster. Uh, ought to be taking um, anything's better than uh, Radio New Zealand National. Here's to something different. <laughs>